Hello, Gemini. Welcome back to Angels Light Tarot. Thank you, thank you, thank you for stopping by for our weekly message for November the 4th through November the 10th. Okay, let's get right into this Gemini. Angels and guides, angels and guides, we are pulling out all the positive energy that we can for Gemini. Angels and guides, just yes, 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 yes. What is going on for these seven little days? What is going on for these seven little days, Gemini? Do, 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 do. Angels and guides, what is going on? What is going on? Thank you, thank you, thank you for these seven little days. Do, 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 do. Oh, oops, oops, I, thought, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot a deck of cards we added these last week. I just need to, you know, get used to it. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is going on? What is going on? Yes, yes, yes. For these seven little days, Gemini. Just seven. That's it. Just seven. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. All right, come on, angels, come on, come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. What is going on? What is going on? Two more, just two more, angels. That's it, just two more, just two more. Yes, 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 just two more. Boop, boop, boop. I feel like, I feel like that goes there. All right, and one more. There it is. That's interesting. All right, all right. Let's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, just read it, okay? <laughs> Stop reading it to yourself. All right, angels, what is going on? What is going on? Mm hmm, mm hmm. For Gemini, for these. Yes, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh, uh huh. Gem I love it when that happens. I, I love it when that happens. Yes, yes, yes. What is going on? Do, do, do. That, that, and, okay, so. Let's get right into this. This is there's a lot of interesting things going on this week. Okay, so major theme is the King of Cups reversed with the Truth card. Yes, the Two of Hearts and the Eight of Spades. I feel like someone is definitely relinquishing their power. Yes, through truth. Almost like maybe someone has been and this could be you gemini or if this could be someone in your life maybe someone is has been showing too much power in the relationship and that's the truth <laughs> that's the truth and i feel like it is a relationship it could be a relationship a love relationship a family relationship but someone that you definitely love and i feel like i feel like there's power in this there's definitely power in this um who is this? Who? I feel like somebody is is saying, you know what? Def I defer to you. I, I defer to you because um, I, I know that I have been, um, you know, in a place of power for a very long time and in, in the relationship, in regards to the relationship. And it's almost like I give you back your power. <laughs> yes, I give you back your power. I defer to you. Yes. Okay. So now. In the recent past, Gemini, you had the five of coins, yes, 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 with the recognition and reward, the ace of diamonds and the queen of diamonds. So in the recent past, I feel like you did something really good financially. You And you know what? You need you should be applauded for it because it was, I would say, a job well done, right? Because this is bringing in some new money. Maybe, and, and be I hope you were careful and didn't spend all that money. Okay, now... In the middle of the week, in the middle of the week, we have the, the nine of pentacles. You're on top of your game. Um, it's destiny. You are fated to be on top of your financial game. And I feel like with this eight of hearts, you are, you're in a place, you're definitely, I feel like you put yourself in this place of power because you know, it's almost like you know how to make money, you know how to manage money, you know where how to do this and how to do that and how to maneuver and how to get more from what you have. So I feel like I feel like you're putting yourself in that place of power for that reason. Okay? Now 
Yes. Now, by the end of the week, I see the five of cups. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Love begins. Mm -hmm. Nine of clubs and the seven of clubs. So by the end of the week, there's a mixed bag of emotions here. Okay. So you're focused on, you're, you're wondering, why am I focused on something that isn't working? Why am I focused on something that is not stable? Right. But somehow through that instability, love begins. So it's like, this is this is a bag of tricks but somehow or the other you're focused on it and and love begins to grow out of it almost like you put just the right ingredients in it but you had to figure out what they were okay and i feel like you're ready to let go of all the negative feelings you're letting go of all the negativity that's surrounding it and maybe that was just just the ingredient to let go of the negative feelings right now around this um relationship this does feel like a love money re um, re uh, reading now your bonus is the nine of cups you're surrounded by love the king of swords you're ready to put down your sword again you're ready to defer again and when you do the celebration begins right material changes material um financial material changes you're ready yes if you need something this week, you have the money to spend to get it. Yes, like a wish comes true. So please don't worry. The money will just keep flowing. Okay, so now I feel like in the beginning um, of this, well, the major theme of this, this month is I feel what this week is I feel that you are. I feel like you're going about things a different way. And this this does have to do with a relationship. It could be romantic. It could be with a child, uh, a parent, or something of that nature. But it's someone you definitely have a heart bond with. But I feel like you're, it's almost like you're, you're stroking somebody's ego to, not really stroking their ego, but you know what I mean. It's kind of like you're like, okay, you can you, you can have your way. You, you can have your way. And somehow through giving them their way you gain the power you're a master at this okay it's like you're making them believe that they're in charge that's what i'm feeling like you're like oh you're in charge but really really you're still holding the power but they just don't know it yeah they they just i feel like they just don't know it because when it comes down to it you're the one that's in charge you're just allowing them to believe that they are um by the end of the week with that uncertainty they're like, um, you're, I, I feel like this is a bit of confusion for you, but through that, it's almost like in the midst of chaos comes like this calm and peace and, and, and you're like, okay, all right. I know that they think they are, but underneath I am right yet. I am. And I'm just going to keep moving in that direction. I'm going to, I'm not going to show my cards, no pun intended. I'm not going to show my cards. I'm still going to allow them to believe that they are in charge because I'm getting, I'm getting rewards and kudos and all that kind of stuff for what I am doing. But underneath all of that, it's all me. Okay. So I send you joy. Namaste and much, much love sent your way.